Hi guys! I'm back again with another vlog. So as you can see from the title down below, this vlog is all about the possible questions that you might encounter if you were going to apply in a call center or if you want to join a BPO industry. Okay? Kakawi ko lang from the mall kasi nga nagsimba kami then dumiretso na kami doon. So, back to the topic. I'll, I will provide to you some questions na pwede nyong ma-encounter kapag mag apply kayo sa any companies under BPO. So, itong mga questions na meron ako dito ay hindi lang galing sa akin lang. Hindi to galing sa experiences ko. Galing to sa recruitment management na humawak sa akin bago ako makapag-apply sa call center companies. So, itong mga to is legit. Okay? So, hindi lang to gawa-gawa. Okay? Simula na natin. First question, of course, if you're going to apply in a call center is tell me about yourself. If, um, dito sa video na to, hindi ko kayo bibigyan ng exact answers. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng clue on how to answer those questions. Okay? So, if you're going to be asked, uh, tell me about yourself, you just need to answer shortly. Kailangan nyo lang magbigay ng brief information about yourself. Huwag nyo kahabaan. Um, bigay nyo lang yung nickname nyo. For example, you can call me friends, tapos yung age nyo, I'm 21 years old, tapos kung ano yung natapos nyo. Kung meron ba kayong degree, high school graduate, undergraduate, Bigay nyo lang information na yon if you have any work experiences. Bigay nyo lang din if you have any achievements. Provide nyo lang din yung information na yon. Basta huwag nyo na lang habaan. Kasi they just need the brief information about yourself. At dun sila magbe-base para magtanong pa ng mga follow-up questions. Okay? You can answer by saying that BPO is a business process outsourcing and it is a way of contracting of non-primary activities and functions to any third-party provider. So, that is just a short information about BPO. Second is why did you choose call center? I choose call center because my tricycle. <laughs> I choose call center because Call center companies is one of the most in-demand um, job offers as of this moment. And it is one of the most growing um, business here in the Philippines. Pwede niyang sabihin na ganon. O kaya you can definitely personalize your answer. What is inbound and outbound call? So inbound call is you will be the one to receive calls. Our customers are the one who will call you, while the outbound call is you were going to call our customers. So, kabaliktaran ng inbound. Our customers will receive our calls, okay? Your motivation in life, you can answer it by a quotation. For example, a specific quotation, time is gold. Uh, my motivation is life if is time is gold. That's why I'm here in front of you using this precious time to apply here in your company since I do really want to get this job. Yan, yung mga ganun lang. Tapos yung, pwede nyo rin gawing motivation yung parents nyo, family nyo, pwede nyo ding i-personalize yung answer nyo. So, dito sa question na to, dito na kayo magpapabibo. Should I hire you? Sabihin nyo na yung mga qualities nyo. Kung hardworking kayo, then provide the information that you are a hardworking person. Pero hindi nyo lang basta sasabihin na I'm a hardworking person, I am patient, hindi ganun. Siyempre, uh, um, mag answer kayo na I am a hardworking person and patient. And I already proved that to my recent job since I am... I stayed there for a long time. Just, a, just like a year. Parang ganun. Magbigay kayo ng example kung paano nyo nasabing hardworking person kayo. Tapos, pwede nyo ring sabihin na you should hire me because I can guarantee to you that I will provide the best um, attitude that I can, um, or I can share my knowledge into this company, yung mga ganong bagay. Tapos, I can be a good 
asset here in your company. Basta yung attitude nyo. Ibida nyo na lang. How do you handle stress? Um, isa lang naman yung sagot dun eh. Um, you can answer it by saying na, I can handle stress by being an optimistic person. I take everything positive. Parang ganun lang. Para tong related dun sa how do you handle stress eh. So, dito sa how do you handle criticism, sabihin nyo na lang din na I take it positively. Um, I take it as a challenge. For example, someone criticize me, I will not take it negat um, as a negative thing. Um, in fact, I want to take it as a positive thing and make it a motivation. Diba? So, you'll take that criticism as a challenge for you to be a better person. Yun na lang. Para lang maikli yung sagot. Kasi the more na magpo-provide ka ng information sa answers mo, the, the more na makakakuha sila ng tanong from your answer. Kaya, mas mabuting paikliin nyo lang yung mga sagot nyo. Pero, nandun yung point. Term goal and what is your long-term goal? So, for short-term goal, ang sabihin nyo syempre, for my short-term goal, I want to pass this interview for me to get hired in this company so that I can share my knowledge and be one of the assets of this company. Tapos, long term, um, long term goal, pwede nyong sabihin na yung mga pangarap nyo sa buhay. My long term goal is to uh, build a house, um, help my family, yung mga ganun. So, that's how you answer those questions. If, ako meron talaga akong sarili kong vision in life. So, my answer there is, do not wait for the perfect moment. Take that moment and make it perfect. So, in that uh, vision, I myself don't want to waste time waiting. I will grab any chances and I will grab any opportunities so that I can make that moment perfect. ba? Parang... Yun kasi yung sa sarili kong sagot talaga. Alam nyo, dito sa mga tanong na tong sinishare ko, most questions dito, personalized dapat yung sagot eh. Basta, anuhin nyo lang. Huwag <laughs> kang tumingin. Personalized yung sagot. Kapag kasi kayo mismo yung nagsasagot, parang mas ramdam nyo eh. Mas alam nyo yung sasabihin nyo. Kapag minemorize nyo lang, baka mablock pa kayo. So, that's a tip from me na kapag sasagot kayo, kailangan talaga nasa, yung gusto nyo sabihin, nasa utak nyo na. Para ang problema nyo na lang, kung paano nyo na lang yung sasabihin. Fine multitasking. Kasi multitasking is one of the things na kailangan mong matutunan kapag nakapasok ka na sa BPO. Kailangan marunong ka or magaling ka mag-multitask. So, multitask is to do things or do several things at the same time. Pwede niyong sabihin na um, multitask is doing several things at the same time and I myself knows how to multitask since I already um, practice multitasking when I was in college. Um, I can work and study at the same time. Parang mga ganong bagay lang. This from now. So, dito sa mga gantong klaseng tanong, hindi mo, i-re-relate nyo sa trabaho na pinag a nyo. How do you see yourself five years from now? Pwede nyo sabihin na, I see myself five years from now, still here in your company, being one of the um, top agents on your company, or I see myself as a team manager already here in your company. Basta ipakita nyo lang na magtatagal kayo sa company nila kasi ganun ang kailangan ng BPO industry. Kailangan nila yung magtatagal. Hindi yung basta na lang mang iiwan. Charot! <laughs> what is the culture of the Americans that can be positive or negative? So, gusto lang nila malaman kung meron na kayong mga idea sa culture ng Americans, especially kung maghahandle kayo ng international account. You can see that um, I see one of the attitudes of the Americans is um, being on time. So, yun. They're always on time. Gusto nyong ma-adopt yung pagiging on time ng mga Americans. Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, usong-usong yung Filipino time. Kasi, being on time can help us 
to be more motivated in life. Marami tayong magagawa pag on time tayo lagi. So, yun, pwede nyo sabihin. Um, hit the like button down there. And if you want to know more informations about me or if you want me to do some videos, mag-comment lang kayo. And please subscribe into this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, those questions are the common questions that you can encounter or you might encounter once you applied in a BPO. So, good luck! kung may plano kayong mag-apply sa call center industry. And don't worry, mas ayadon. And you will be well compensated. Depende sa company, of course. You just need to be yourself if you are in an interview. Okay? So, ang tip ko lang sa inyo, you might want to personalize your questions. Oh, I'm sorry. You might want to personalize your answers para na rin mas mapaliwanag nyo yung gusto nyo sabihin. Then, iwasan nyo yung pag-stutter. Iwa, iwasan nyo yung ginagawa ko. Iwasan nyo na yung um, uh, iwasan nyo yung ganon sa interview. Then, wag na wag kayong magpopo at opo. And you might want to call the interviewer by their name. Huwag mamat, sir. Tapos, ano pa ba? Yung gestures nyo. Kailangan okay yung gestures nyo. And you should be confident enough. Diba? You should be confident enough to provide answers dun sa mga question. Kahit na hindi mo alam yung sasabihin mo, kahit na hindi mo alam kung tama ba yung grammar mo. Just be confident. Hindi na halata yun. Okay? So, that's it for today. I hope to see you in my next vlogs. And sana nakatulong itong video na ito sa inyo. Thank you so much for your time. Bye!